Welcome to the world of high-speed adrenaline and drama. If you're a fan of Street Outlaws, then you know that the show is full of excitement, rivalries and high stakes. And one of the biggest personalities to ever grace the show is none other than the legendary Big Chief himself, Justin Shearer. But what happened to Big Chief? Why did he disappear from the show? What has been up to him since then? We have all juicy details and updates about his life that you've been dying to know, so buckle up and get ready for a wild ride as we take a deep dive into the life and times of Big Chief, the man who started it all on Street Outlaws. Justin Shearer was born in Kentucky, USA in the year 1980, but he moved to Oklahoma in 1992. His passion for races started when he was 9 years old and he used to watch street races at Old Route 66. He was married to Alicia until they called it quits in 2017, with whom he he has two sons. Well, there were also rumors about him not being cast in the second season of America's List, to which he answers that they didn't really reveal anything as such. But before he was participating in the last episode of the 405 season in Chicago, it lasted till the end of the weekend and that's when the real struggle began, he said. He was running out of passes and his car's engine was wearing out and he had no time to fix it, until he came back to his place to get all of them done. He discloses that the last race was so tough for him and had to take some losses. So the big reveal awaits, why did he leave the show? For that he replies, the rules were too much, they were being put to rules for every everything they do, so he decided that he cannot agree with everything they say and stand up there and defend rules and decisions he didn't make, he doesn't agree with, and those he didn't think are best for the show. And that made him hate everything once he used to love. Hence, he just stopped working there. Also, he reveals that he doesn't want the show to run without him, but he also adds that he has to roll on with it. Now comes another sector with his relationship with Jackie Brash. He owns his channel Midwest Street Cars, in which Jackie is also an active partner and is seen working along with him. But they share quite a bond, they are a couple, as the interest in cars and racing has brought both of them together. Their most impeccable work is the Caddy Jack, and for that they worked so hard to get all of it done. That is their race car with some cool features like electric doors, a sunroof and beautiful colours. They keep making the car race ready. What a beauty! Jackie and Big Chief share a close bond. Justin is seen goofing around Jackie with some of those antics which irritate Jackie and he seems to be laughing so loud and having fun. Well, many had doubts about him doing the Outlaw Armageddon, which is the extension of the 405 Outlaw, to which he says that things have changed so much that he doesn't want to go back. Now another reveal that we've been long waiting for. What are they doing right now? Well, they're doing a lot of things. They're building engines, getting their work done, doing all the ventures they've been up to till now working on the small block Chevy with its completion and final assembly. Currently, he has completed his multi-year project of transforming his first car into a twin-turbo GTO. That seems to be the first one on the planet. Holy, it is nicknamed the Crow. Cool. Anyways, moving on to their social media lives, both of them are very much active on their social media handles and they keep updating our fans about their work and very little about their personal lives. Jackie has about 103,000 followers on her Instagram account and she also shared glimpses about her life recently where she is seen bringing her caddy jack back into the grind. Big Chief is also quite active on his Instagram and has around 908,000 followers. He keeps updating us about his new videos, his life lately and many pictures from his work. His birthday wishes for his partner are quite cute and their bond seems to grow more and more stronger as time proceeds. Also, another side of the coin is the merchandise. It's a must check out. They have some really interesting things, like t-shirts, hoodies, hats, tumblers, accessories and whatnot. They joined the community way back in 2013, and their upload count sums up to 227. They have about 359,000 subscribers. Their monthly income is about $1.7,000, whereas their yearly income is about $20.8,000. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and also remember to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of our content.